All right, welcome back to this tutorial series. In the last video, we created the project that we were going to be working on. I took a few things to change it around just to make it a little more interesting. And we also gave our player health, and we gave him a health bar so that we can see the value of health that we have. So that is all we did for that. Now in this video, we are going to give our character some ammo, and we're going to allow him to fire his gun so many times before he runs out of ammo, reloads it, and then he's going to have some more ammo to fire. And we will also have that displayed on our HUD with our health bar, so that the player can see how much ammo he has left versus how much is in the overall uh, capacity of the weapon. So I'll go ahead and save that real quick. I meant to do that before this video. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our first person character, or whatever your character blueprint may be named, and in the last video we added this, we added the HUD values interface to our character blueprint. Okay, and we went ahead and we made the ammo and max ammo variables, and we made the ammo and max ammo nodes within the HUD value blueprint interface. So now we're going to set these values. We're going to set this to 15, and let's set this to... set it to 90. That seems like a good rounded number. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go over here to the event graph. And now we're going to do just a couple of things with the firing right here. So we really don't have to do a whole lot at first. So we're just going to select all of this. There we go. We're going to drag this on down. Get this, drag these on down here. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to do a branch. Okay, because we need to find out if we even have ammo to fire. Okay. So we grab out our ammo, we get the we get it, all right, and we want to find out if we are greater than or equal to zero. All right. So as long as we have ammo, as long as this is true, as long as we have one or more ammo to shoot, you know, objects to shoot, then we're going to do something. So what is it we're going to do? Well, we need to set the ammo. We need to make sure that it's taking one ammo away every time we fire. So we need to drag back off of that get. We need to subtract integer by integer. We need to subtract one. Now this will take and every time we fire an ammo we will lose ammo. And I'll show you that right now. We, we can fire 15 and then notice that we can't fire anymore. But I just randomly shot this 15 off and we don't know how many shots we really had to fire. So in an actual game, I would have just wasted all that ammunition. So how are we going to tell the system, or how are we going to show the player how much ammunition he has? Well, we made this HUD widget in the last video showing our health bar, which I'm actually, while I'm thinking about it, going to change that name to health bar. So now we need to make something that shows how much ammo we have out of how much ammo is fully available to that weapon. So I do this with a text field. You can do this with images and whatever else you may feel you need to do it with. It's kind of just personal preference. Go ahead and anchor these to the bottom corner real quick. Okay. I want to make the value, let's say, 48, because I want to I want them nice, I want it big so people can see it. So we're just going to double the text there. Increase these text fields real quick. Drop them into the bottom corner. Let's change their color so that they're different from each other. So let's make a let's make that and let's make this one a just make it something funny looking. Okay. And we don't have to change the text in it because we're gonna actually use code to do that. Or use blue the HUD interface to do that. So with the first one selected here, go ahead and go up here and change it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to name mine ammo and max ammo, just for simplicity. Okay. So select your ammo, click bind and create binding. Okay. You should say get, it should show you get ammo text zero. 
Okay. You'll notice that this is looking for a string. Okay, but that's going to be okay. So we pull in our HUD value just like we did for the health again. And everything here is the same as we did before. We get the player character, we get our HUD. But this time, we're not going to do any kind of dividing or any kind of any kind of math whatsoever. We just simply want it to display what the value is. So we're just going to simply connect them. And you can see you get this nice little two text function that comes up from an in, and it takes handles an integer, that's the value, that it returns into that. Okay. So now you can copy this, control C, close out of that, and then we can actually go into designer and we can select the next one and we can create a binding for it and do the same thing. And I accidentally hit Control C, so we're just going to retype it all in. And then on this one, as I'm pretty sure y'all have already figured it out, we just connect the max ammo node to the return node. Go ahead and compile, save it, and then play. And then you can see in the bottom corner there, we have 15 out of 90, and we can fire, we're losing ammo. We hit zero. Oh, we hit negative one. I'm gonna have to fix that. We hit negative one, and you can't fire no more. So we need to fix that negative one real quick. So it is actually not that. It is just greater than, not greater than or equal to. Make sure that worked. Yeah, and then we have zero ammo left, and now we can't fire anymore. But that's not good for a game. We want to be able to reload. We have 90 additional shots we can use. So, how do we reload? Well, this is how we reload. First thing we need to do is we need to go into the edit here. We need to go into the project settings. We need to go down here to input. Now, under input, you'll see a bunch of nice little things here that control the character and help you fire and all that. We're going to just worry about action mappings. We're going to make a new one. We're going to call this reload. Now what key do we want to use? I'm going to use the R key because it actually makes sense. So we're going to reload off the R key. Now if you wanted to add more, like let's say you wanted to make it also off of a gamepad, you wanted to make it uh, let's see, face button, bottom, left shoulder, right shoulder, let's say the left shoulder button. So that, like, if you're thinking of a 360 controller, it'd be the L1. If you're thinking PS3 controller, it'd be the L1 button. So now you could use, if we had, we used a controller on this game, we could use that button as well as the R key. Either one of those will reload our gun. But we don't need that, so we're just going to drop that out. And that's all you have to do with that. So now we can go back to our character thing. And we can actually adjust this so it's not in our way. Okay, so we're going to go down here, and we are going to just type in reload. We get an input action reload node. So every time we push our, the R key, we're going to do whatever this event here says we're going to do. So, the first thing we are going to do is I need to make, we need to make a variable that is going to control how much ammo it, we're currently looking at, versus how much ammo we actually need. Um, I call this a need ammo thing. You'll see more why here in a minute on why we actually need that. All right, sorry if you noticed there was a pause in that there. I had some screaming kids of mine coming around. I didn't need everybody hearing that. So this is where we're at. We got our three variables that we're going to use for our ammo control now. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to make a branch because we need to know, are we reloading or are we not able to reload? Because if we have zero of our maximum ammo left, we don't want to reload. So we're going to take our max ammo here, we're going to get it. We're going to do the same thing we did earlier with a greater than. Click on that and connect that to that. So all this simply says is, if we have at least one or more in our maximum ammo cache, let's do something. If we don't, then we're going to do absolutely nothing because nothing's going to be connected to false. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set our maximum ammo. 
and apparently my auto save feature wants to go off again. So I apologize for that. Give it a minute here. All right. So now we drag out the the need ammo. We're going to set this. All right. Now what information are we going to use to set this? Well, we're going to take our ammo, and we are going to drag off of this one and do a minus. Okay, we're going to connect this to the bottom node. Now the reason we connect it to the bottom node is we want the, the base value that we're going to plug into here minus this value because this value will always be equal or lower than this main value. And we have a maximum of 15 per clip, so we want 15 in that. What this is going to do is it's going to tell us that our need ammo is let's say we've shot 10 shots so we have f five shots left okay well we need 10 ammo to cap it back off at 15 so we just take and we set that every time we hit the reload however much ammo we currently have minus the 15 that's allowed in the actual clip itself and then we set that to the need ammo okay so now we need to do another branch okay we're going to type in branch here, and we need to do a test. We need to find out two, ver two things. They're going to deal with our max ammo and our need ammo. So we're going to get both of those. Now we need to find out if they are less than or equal to each other. What this means is that do we have enough ammo in the reserve to satisfy the amount of ammo we need to bring ammo to a current 15. If we do, then what we are going to do is we are going to set a couple of values here. We need to set the ammo. We need to set the maximum ammo. Okay, go ahead and connect all that up. Now, maximum ammo is going to be set to zero because if this is 14 and we need 15, we're only going to get the 14, but we're going to have no more ammo. So we need to set that maximum to zero. The other thing that we are going to do is we need to add the ammo and the maximum ammo together. So we do a little add feature there. And we drag it on down there. Because, again, if we have 14 maximum ammo and I need 15 ammo to finish it off, I can't get the 15. So it means that we're going to take whatever we have left in our reserve, we're going to add it to the, ma to the main thing, that's going to be our new ammo, and we're going to set max ammo to zero because we no longer have anything left in the max ammo field. But what if the maximum ammo is 16 and we have only need 15 ammo? Well, that makes our condition false, so we are going to set the ammo, we're going to drag it out here, we're going to set that, we're going to set the max ammo again, we're going to actually set max ammo before the current ammo this time. The ammo count will be set to 15, okay, because we're maxing that out. This, however, is going to be set to, we're going to take our maximum ammo, we're going to minus the integer, we're going to minus those two values, and that's going to be our new max ammo. So if we take 16 ammo, subtract it by 15, we only have one left, and that's what our max ammo is. And then we plug those two together. Now that is all we would need to do right there, so we can save, compile and save. Go back to the thing and hit play, and you'll notice in the bottom corner, okay, we have 15 out of 90. If I fire it all, I fired it all off, we're at zero. If I hit the R key, we get 15 full ammo, we have 75. Okay, We took 15 from the maximum pool of ammo we have. Now let's fire off seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight ammo left. If I hit the R key right now, we're back to 15. But notice that we're at 68. We took the amount of ammo needed. I fired seven shots, I got seven shots back. It took seven shots from the maximum ammo. Okay, and then if we finish out all of our stuff here, we can just keep firing instantly as long as we keep pushing the R key. 
see how many times we can hit these blocks here. Okay. And now I have zero ammo, zero maximum ammo. I cannot hit the R to reload at all until I pick up some more ammo. So in the next video, we are going to cover pickups. We're going to do health pickups, and we're going to do ammunition pickups. Um, I'll probably just be using default meshes that are already in, like these boxes here, or even like the projectile ball that you get to shoot. I'll probably only be using those. Um, I may make something kind of like really quick and neat looking just to, to help show off. So I hope you tune into the next video.